If there is one thing we love more than anything else when it comes to gaming, it's Wonder Kids. Nothing is as satisfying as scouting the world of football with a click of your finger, predicting the future when it comes to players and being able to tell your mates, told you so, that lab becomes quality. A couple of seasons ago an FM16 brought us the next batch of Wonder Kids. If you delved into AC Milan and filtered through their teams all the way to their under 18s, you would have been lucky enough to stumble upon Donnarama. What a finding that would have been. But not all gems like the young Italian goalkeeper develop into stone cold jewels. In fact, most of them don't. At all. Ever. So here are six football manager wonder kids not living up to their potential. So starting with the defence and playing our way out the back as if we're John Stones loaded up on Pro Plus, it's Real Madrid defender Jesus Vallejo. Vallejo signed for the Galacticos in 2015 from Zaragoza before he was subsequently loaned back to the Spanish side. He was then thrown out on a bone to Frankfurt before returning to Madrid this season. In fact, he managed to make his debut in October. I wonder how that went. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh dear. In Football Manager 2016, however, Bayeko had all the potential to force his way into the Madrid first team by 2018. At 18 years old, he has all the stats to take his game to the next level, but here we are instead discussing whether he's going to end up back out on loan or pawned off to another club. Next up, Jordan Rossiter. Now, taking a glimpse at Rossiter's stats may prove a little uninspiring, but mark my words, this guy's a wonder kid. He's had the potential to go on to big things ever since he was 16 on FM14. But unfortunately, he hasn't gone on to big things at all. Well, unless you class Rangers as the biggest team in Glasgow, which I'm really not going to get into now. Rossiter was hammered with a long-term injury after leaving Liverpool to play in Scotland. He's still not back to full fitness and two years of his life just seem to have flown by. It could soon be a case of the forgotten man for the once touted next Steven Gerrard. Another midfielder who seemed to just stop dead in his steamrolling tracks, Pierre-Emile Jobier. On FM16, Javier is on loan at Schalke from Bayern Munich and about to set the world on fire. Valued up to 37.5 million according to our scouts, he has a long list of pros with only one con. Yeah, you guessed it, his price tag. Playing throughout the centre of midfield with the ability to hold, attack, spray a pass 300 yards and hell, even play it right back by the looks of it. Javier has phenomenal stats. His passing and technique is 16, then he also has attributes like 13 for both tackling and finishing. What can't the boy do? Having started the game with West Ham, we didn't have much to compare him to. Although despite being 9 years younger, he was still more technically gifted than Mark Noble and we're sure our scouts would have been a little bit biased to the club favourite. In real life, Hoybier joined Southampton for a cut price 12 mil and meh, now he's just another rotating Saints midfielder. Nabil Bentelab. Now here's a CM who has suffered a similar fate to the great Dane before him. He registered just 3 assists over his UK stint, but our scouts seem pretty bent for Bentelab on FM16. He could cost up to 55 million, apparently, and has been given the highest potential rating out of all the Wonder Kids on this list. I mean, we can search for someone similar to Bentelab, but it just doesn't exist. I mean, the closest that comes are Arturo Vidal, Yaya Torre, Schweinsteiger, oh and of course, Hobier. Ugh. In reality, he signed for Schalke for 16 million before German newspaper Blid labelled him Schalke's flop of the season in his maiden campaign. He's in the starting lineup again this season, but that's probably because they figured things couldn't actually get any worse. Next up, Renato Sanchez. <sighs> Sigh. So yeah, he plays for Swansea City and has pretty much been useless so far this season. So, sorry, not useless, in need of time to adapt. That's what people say, right? Still at Benfica on FM16, this is before Renato's huge money move to Bayern. Perhaps that's where it all went wrong for the Portuguese midfielder. Here though, he's 17 years old with all the ball winning and tenacious qualities of a modern day Makalele. Not bad on the ball either. Will things improve at Swansea? Yeah, I think it's safe to say that it could get worse before it gets better. They'd probably rather rope Makalele into the starting eleven. Our final uninspiring player comes from the deep depths of Chelsea's ginormous squad list, Kennedy. Earlier this year, the Brazilian and Blues winger was sent home during their pre-season tour after indulging himself in some classic Instagram swearing with a pinch of offensiveness and plenty of insults. He's still at Stamford Bridge, mind, and looked handy against Nottingham Forest, scoring and providing an assist in their 5-1 League Cup victory. A player of these kind of stats on FM16 shouldn't be just handy two years down the line though. He's the complete winger with a rare 14 for finishing, 15 long shots and flair, 15 strength, 14 acceleration and 13 composure. He's miles better than Victor Moses if we look here, only falling behind on the sheer pace aspect. 
but Kennedy hasn't thrusted himself into the Chelsea starting lineup in any shape or form. On the game, he's most similar to Hulk. In reality, he's more like, um, Daredevil? That's got to be the superhero, right? That's all from HITC Top Corner Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the best football gaming content. We cover Wonder Kids, simulations from old games, new games, and even play a bit of FIFA too. Do it, like and subscribe, HITC Top Corner.